Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to teach you today how to do a shadow or overlay. Open up your Fonto app. Click on plain images. You're going to use the second one, the white screen. Once you're on the white screen, you're going to click it. Go up to the top right. You're going to see the arrow with the square. Press use. Here is where you're going to need to type in the name that you're using. Today we're going to use Chanette. This is one of my clients that I'm doing a Tumblr for, so I thought I'd also make her a keychain. Why not? Then you'll go ahead and find whatever um, font you'd like to use. So here I was looking for more of a script font, so I wanted to use Great Vibes. That's what I'm looking for here. So I'll use that one. Next, you're going to want to center it. It's white there. So once you kind of center it so you can take a great look at it, you're going to click over to style. Once you go to style, you're going to click over to stroke and stroke. You're going to want to make that black because that's where you're going to get the actual shadow. So once you make that black, you'll be able to see it and go down to the to wide at the very bottom and you see how it's making it darker. So you can make it as dark as you want. I didn't want mine that dark, so I went ahead and brought it back down. I want just a little shadow in the background. So I think that right there looks about what I want it to look like. So I'll keep it right there. And then after this, you're going to go over and we're going to save this. So the way I have an iPhone, so the way I have to save it is I just go save image and it saves it to my phone. And so once it saves it to my phone, only thing I need to do is go and email it to myself because I like to work off the desktop. <laughs> 